I saw examples of the largest Oracle rack cluster in the entire company that is just grinding and not able to fulfill queries. You take that same data, model it in Neo4j, and on one-tenth the hardware, you can run a thousand times faster. Philip Rackley, CTO of Neo4j, didn't just stumble into understanding systems. I lost my mom pretty early when I was around 10 years old. And so as part of that, I had to take on a lot of responsibilities that other kids my age, you know, didn't learn until maybe much later. That early loss taught him something that would define his entire career. Notice the big picture of what's happening, notice mm -hmm. where there's a need, mm -hmm. and then just jump in, whether invited or not, as appropriate to, to jump in and just get it done. That philosophy led him to graph databases the same technology that powers Google's search engine and Facebook's network. And now he's building the tools for the future of AI. No one gets a 600% marketing uplift for anything, but this is because graphs are just such a different and higher value added way of doing things. But in the age of AI, Philip sees something most people are missing. The world shows up as networks, hierarchies, and paths. If you're building enterprise AI, that means you as the AI builder have the responsibility for the outcome. If it's a good outcome, that's great. If it's a bad outcome, that's not so great. And so how do you put the guardrails into place?